order for you to successfully complete the task that we are given here, you need to have knowledge of how to compile ledger accounts. If you don't know how to do that, please access the lesson where we were discussing ledger accounts. Okay. So for the first transaction, what they are telling us is that we purchase electrical tools on credit. Electrical tools form part of equipment. If we recall what we discussed in the ledger accounts lesson, equipment is an asset, okay? So an equipment account is an asset. This tells us that if uh, we buy more equipment, we are going to debit the uh, equipment account. And if we sell or return equipment, we are going to credit the equipment account. The reason being, it's because it is an asset account. Okay. With that out of the way, let us go back to our question. Okay. Since we are increasing the amount of equipment that we have, uh, what this means is that we must uh, debit our equipment account. But we are not going to debit the equipment account with this full amount because this is VAT inclusive. We are only going to debit it with the VAT exclusive amount. Okay. VAT exclusive amount. I'm not going to show you how to do that manually. Please access the lessons where we discuss that. But I'm going to show you how to calculate the VAT exclusive amount using Kali Tutor's application. If you don't have the application, please download it from Google Play or use the link in the description. Please note that the application is only for Android phones. Okay? So let me show you how to do this using this application. Okay, so once you have downloaded the application, this is what you'll get, okay? You'll have this application here, okay? Just click on this button here to get the accounting section, then go to accounting. Once you are in accounting, calculate VAT exclusive amount and VAT amount. Uh, you are going to calculate the VAT exclusive amount here. In this case, we are told that this is 4,600, 4,600, and the VAT rate is 15%. If you click Calculate, you'll get uh, the VAT exclusive amount is 4,000, and the VAT amount is uh, 600. Okay, so we are going to use this information uh, to record this in the general ledger. So, in terms of our general ledger, we expect that we will have uh, an equipment equipment account account and this is the debit side and this is the credit side increases in equipment are recorded here decreases in equipment are recorded here and then here we'll write the the value which is in this case 4000 and we are going to write the name of the account that is going to be credited remember from that discussion of the general ledger accounts, we stated that when we debit an account, we must also write the name of the account that is going to be credited since we are using the double entry system. So in this case, since we had uh, purchased electrical tools on credit, this is supposed to be a trade payable. Okay, so here we are going to write that the other account that is involved in this transaction is the trade payable. Okay. Once we have done this, we must also debit the VAT input account. Okay. So you'll have the VAT input account and then in your VAT input account, uh, here we are going to write the 600 here. Okay. 600. And we must also write the name of the account that is going to be credited uh, in this transaction. And it is still the trade uh, payable since we are going to pay back the money. So after debiting these two accounts, uh, remember it must balance your credits and debits must balance. We must also uh, credit the trade payable. Okay, let's. Uh, this is a trade payable control. And then here we are going to write the full amount. We are crediting this account by 4,600. Okay, this 4,600 comes from this one. In terms of the accounts that must be debited, okay, in this transaction, 
we know that uh, we are referring to these two here okay so what we are going to say here is uh, equipment equipment uh, and uh, uh, vet input input okay so that's basically how you record transactions like this one okay so now you have you are done recording the first transaction what is left is to record the second transaction here okay so let us record the second transaction the problem is that i have actually written this in a wrong section so let's try to move it uh, somewhere okay let's try to move it okay let's even reduce the size let's try to move it to this side here so that we'll have space to read okay okay for the second transaction uh, on the 10th uh, we returned a faulty multimeter to wires traders and received a refund of 3300 so what you need to assume here is that uh, this faulty multimeter comes from what was purchased on the 9th or oh, this 3300 they are telling us that we are getting a refund uh, from the amount that we actually owe them so it's not really cash so what we are going to do here is to first uh, calculate the VAT exclusive amount. We are going to use the Kalitutas application again. Okay, uh, this time we have 3,300 as the VAT inclusive amount. And if you click calculate, you'll get, okay, that the VAT exclusive amount is uh, uh, 2,869 Rand. And 57 cents uh, and the vet amount is uh, 480 rand and 43 cents okay so given this information we know that our equipment is going to decrease since our equipment is decreasing we are going to credit our equipment account by 2869,57 okay and once we have done that we need to write the name of the account that is involved in this transaction remember we are still going to reduce our trade uh, payables okay so instead of owing these guys a lot of money we are going to reduce that okay now we will deduct 2869 rand okay after writing this you also have to go back to your vet input account remember instead of claiming this full 600 we have returned some of our equipment that means we need to deduct even the amount of vet input that we are supposed to claim back okay so in this case we are going to write the vet amount the vet amount is 430,43 okay and uh, uh, the name of the account that is involved is our trade trade payables okay after doing this you go to your trade payables account remember a trade payables account is simply a liability account so whenever our liabilities decrease we must debit the liability account and in this case that's a trade payable account and then we are going to write the full amount in this case the full amount is going to be uh, uh, three three zero zero and this must come from the equipment uh, plus uh, vet input okay vet input okay so that's basically all that we were supposed to do in this uh, question so let us look at how to include all this information uh, in the table given in the assignment okay okay so this is our assignment okay on the ninth this is our equipment what we are supposed to to write here is the vet exclusive amount we said the vet exclusive amount was uh, four thousand uh, after writing four thousand uh, you, the name of the other account that is involved in this case is the trade and other payables control and then you go to your 
trade in other payables control no we are not interested in this at the moment go to your vet input okay in your vet input you write the 600 okay and the account that is involved here is trade payables and trade and other uh, payables control okay once you are done recording the debit side now you can record the credit side the credit side this must be equipment plus vet input equipment plus vet input and here you write the total just like we have discussed after doing this what you are supposed to do is um okay record the second transaction the second transaction we know that here we are going to credit our um, okay a trade in uh, where is it trade in other payables control okay so we are crediting our equipment account and the amount that we calculated was uh, two eight uh, six nine point uh, five seven okay and then after doing this what we are supposed to do is uh, uh, record uh, the vet uh, input okay in this case the vet amount we calculated it to be 480.43 okay and then uh, here what we are supposed to record is what trade and other payables control okay and then we need to write the whole amount or the full amount it's 380 this one must be equipment plus vet input okay after doing this uh, question here you should be done okay